Number 10, the 2005 Kashmir Earthquake. On October 8, 2005, Kashmir, Pakistan was visited by an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.5. The disaster had a death toll of 80,000 and more than 65,000 were injured, affecting an area of 30,000 kilometers, destroying roads, power, water, and sanitation. Approximately 400,000 homes, 6,300 schools, and 800 health facilities were either damaged or destroyed after the quake. leaving about 3.5 million of the population homeless. The earthquake caused widespread destruction in northern Pakistan, as well as damage in Afghanistan and northern India. In response to the devastating catastrophe, India and Pakistan both dropped their hostility at the time over the Kashmir region and cooperated in relief efforts. Close to the original epicenter of the quake, a total of 1,000 aftershocks were registered in October alone, one recording a magnitude of 6.2, with 28 of those aftershocks occurring with magnitudes greater. With roads pretty much destroyed, relief efforts were futile, and as a result, many people were left to slowly die under the heavy rubble and debris. Number 9, the 1923 Great Kanto Earthquake. The Great Kanto Earthquake of 1923 shocked the nation of Japan, measuring a magnitude of 8.0 on the Richter scale. Hitting the Kanto Plain on the main island of Honshu in Japan, the disaster was considered the deadliest earthquake in the history of Japan, as it caused the Great Tokyo Fire. Although the duration of the quake was only about 10 minutes, the magnitude of its destruction was almost beyond your wildest imagination. The earthquake struck at 11.58 a.m. on September 1st, 1923, just as people were gathering around the table for lunch. For most children at the time, it was their first day back at school after a long summer break. The massive quake overturned cooking stoves, catching many houses on fire, and coupled with high winds, caused most of the destruction. The death toll reported 93,000 casualties, many of which died in fires, landslides, tsunamis, and with over 55 aftershocks, another 40,000 people were reported missing. The tremors were so powerful that it was felt in the capital, Tokyo, leaving the developed metropolis, Yokohama, in ruins. Number 8, the 1948 Ashgabat Earthquake. One of the most devastating earthquakes in the past century, the 1948 Ashgabat earthquake, occurred at around 2.20 a.m. on October 6, 1948. The epicenter of the earthquake was located near the small village of Gara Guadan, 30 kilometers southwest of Ashgabat. Measuring 7.5 in magnitude, surface tremors were felt far northwest and southeast of Ashgabat. The earthquake lasted only a mere 10 seconds, but it caused extreme damage in Ashgabat and nearby villages where almost all brick buildings collapsed, concrete structures were heavily damaged, and freight trains were derailed. Due to censorship at the time, the quake was not reported in the media, so at the time, there were no reports regarding the casualties or estimated damages, at first. Due to government secrecy, it was claimed that the earthquake was a result of the Soviet Union's first atomic bomb test. More than two-thirds of the people living in the city were killed by the earthquake. Media sources also vary on the number of casualties from 40,000 to 175,000. Though a correct death toll was reported in 1988, it's 110,000. Number 7, the 1908 Messina Earthquake. This 7.0 magnitude earthquake and tsunami claimed the lives of 180,000 people in Messina and Reggio in Sicily and Calabria in southern Italy. The earthquake, which occurred on December 28, 1908 at about 5.20 am, caused the ground to shake for about 35 to 40 seconds and was felt in a 300 mile radius. As compared to many other massive quakes, the Messina earthquake produced a 12 meter tsunami that also hit the nearby coasts causing more destruction, including the death of 80,000 residents, with 90% of the building structures in Messina falling and smashing to pieces on the ground. Broken and damaged fuel pipes caused a firestorm, an after-effect known from many other earthquakes. As one of the deadliest natural disasters recorded during historic times in Europe, the origin of the tsunami in Messina is still today an unsolved geological mystery. 
Scientists report it was very strange that the tsunami hit the shore some 8 to 10 minutes after the quake, too late according to some researchers to be associated directly to the quake. Most researchers believe that the tsunami of 1908 was therefore the result of a large underwater landslide, triggered by the earthquake. Number 6, the 865 Damyan Earthquake. On December 22nd, 856, this earthquake struck Damyan, the capital of Iran at the time, with a magnitude of 8.0, killing more than 200,000 people, with 46,000 casualties from Damyan alone. The entire city of Damyan and the old Parthian capital of Sharif Gumes was greatly affected. Tremors from the massive quake could be felt throughout the surrounding areas of Damyan, with survivors fearing for their life. Although Damgan itself was not severely damaged, the area of maximum damage extended for about 400 kilometers along the southern edge of the eastern Alborz Mountains of present-day Iran, including parts of Tiberistan and Gordon. Half of Damgan and a third of the town of Bustam were totally destroyed. The earthquake badly affected water supplies, contaminating natural springs, and destroying quinats. The aftershocks went on to affect the area for several years. Number 5, the 2004 Indian Ocean Earthquake. This earthquake hit the seabed of the Indian Ocean on December 26, 2004 with a magnitude of 9.2, and it caused the Boxing Day tsunami with the energy equivalent of 23,000 Hiroshima-type atomic bombs. This was the second highest seismic activity recorded in history with the longest duration of tremors. The violent movement of the Earth's tectonic plates displayed an enormous amount of water, sending powerful shockwaves in every direction. The force was far and wide, more than 600 miles long, displacing the seafloor by 10 yards horizontally and several yards vertically. Just imagine, the tsunami traveled as far as 3,000 miles to Africa and still arrived with sufficient force to kill people and destroy property. Within hours, the after effects reached Maldives and Thailand, with more than five tsunamis hitting the coastlines of the Indian Sea. The earthquake managed to create a death toll of 225,000 people. Number 4, the 1138 Aleppo Earthquake. This earthquake disaster happened near the town of Aleppo in Syria on October 11, 1138. The earthquake, which had a magnitude of 8.5, is among the deadliest earthquakes in history. Its name was taken from the city of Aleppo in northern Syria, where the most casualties were sustained. With over 230,000 deaths, other catastrophes include a nearby church that fell on itself, causing the death of 600 guards and citizens. Only governors and some servants managed to survive. All nearby towns close to the tremor were completely destroyed and had to be rebuilt to become habitable again. The large seismic event sent many people to seek refuge in the countryside. Numerous homes were destroyed, with the stones used in their construction falling into streets and making rescue efforts even more difficult. Reports were that people were swallowed by holes opening and closing in the ground during the quake. Number 3, the 1920 Haiyuan Earthquake. The December 16, 1920 Haiyuan Earthquake, also referred to as the 1920 Gansu Earthquake, because Ningjia was a part of the Gansu province when the earthquake occurred, claimed the lives of more than 275,000 people in the Republic of China. With the epicenter in Haiyuan County and a magnitude of 7.8 on the Richter scale, 60% of the people living in the county at the time were killed. The effects of the earthquake were widespread. It was so intense that the effects of sieges resulting from the quake were observed as far away as Norway, over 4,000 miles away in aftershocks that lasted over three years. All the buildings located close to the epicenter collapsed. The earthquake opened approximately 200 kilometers of surface faults and was felt throughout a large portion of Chinese provinces and regions. The death toll of people occurred as a result of landslides pouring down mountains, covering anything in its path. Although poor agricultural practices may have contributed to the severity of the landslides, that didn't stop an entire town from being covered and buried, the course of rivers in the area to be changed, and rescue efforts to be greatly hampered. Number 2, the 2010 Haiti Earthquake. The Haiti Earthquake had a magnitude of 7.0 on the Richter scale, with an epicenter near Leogane, 25 kilometers west of its capital, Port-au-Prince. 
It struck on January 12, 2010, causing at least 50 aftershocks measuring 5.0 or greater that could still be felt even 10 days after the initial earthquake. The earthquake left a devastating death toll of 316,000 deaths, 300,000 injured, and a million people homeless. It was estimated that 250,000 houses and 30,000 commercial buildings had collapsed or were severely damaged. After the quake, there were 19 million cubic meters of rubble and debris in port operands, enough to fill a line of shipping containers stretching end to end from London to Beirut. Those that survived the quake left their homes in port operands and stayed with host families in other sections of the island. The people of Haiti didn't go on battling just the earthquake alone, though. An outbreak of cholera happened by July 2011. More than 6,000 people had died as a result of this, and 216,000 people were infected. Number 1. The 1556 Shanxi Earthquake Undoubtedly, this earthquake will go down in history as the deadliest earthquake ever recorded of all time. The quake occurred on January 23, 1556 in Shanxi, China, and devastated an area of 530 miles. The force of the quake was so strong that it was felt in over 97 countries and resulted in more than 25 meter deep crevices and landslides, which consumed numerous buildings and people alike. The death toll of this devastating earthquake was estimated to be around 830,000 people, most of whom were crushed by falling buildings. It was believed that the massive death toll reduced the region's population by over 50%. The Chinese people were just helpless, there was nothing they could do. It was impossible to withstand an earthquake of this magnitude. So what was its magnitude, you may ask? It was 8.0 on the Richter scale. The catastrophic quake left the Chinese province of Shanxi in a mess. The quake lasted only seconds, it wiped out everything in its way, leveled mountains, altered the path of rivers, caused massive flooding, and ignited fires that burned for days. 